Ivan, what's going on? Welcome back to another show. How are you, sir? Bye bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye bye. What, what's a bye today uh, for you, Ivan? Oh, really? uh, nice. Nah, about the euro, I mentioned earlier that it was a yeah. stream on my channel, and I said, uh, I bet 10 bucks that euro will fail that level because it's very weak. It normally fails there. And that was the friendly. Yeah, explain trade. what you meant. Virtual by that. Trade. So, so, were you talking? So, when you say usually fails there, what, uh, what were you referring to? Once, okay, so it's technical analysis, it's basically, but a bit of uh, other things as well. We have risen very quickly, but the way we fell on Friday is very indicative of um, taking profit. When that happened, when you have a very strong rise and a very strong fall, then the support always fails because we have already fought, broken that support, that support, and holding the same as that support, meaning we are in the third support, meaning why we're falling so hard down if we were supposed to go higher hmm. and we're also very close to um 111 which is the target so uh gotcha so you're talking about so sort of like once that that you know straight shot trend to the upside starts to break it tends to break for a little bit longer that makes sense yeah no and it, it has uh you know erased a lot of those gains could it be possibly i've a little bit of profit taking going into what Frank and I were talking about earnings season um, upcoming May event uh, with the Federal Reserve you think that that has something to play with this this dollar um, pullback that's going on we've been selling off on the dollar for a couple weeks now absolutely 100% yeah. um, so <clears throat> when, when, when when somebody asked me in or somebody asked in in your discord um, last week a problem Friday and didn't understand the move gold the golden move and my answer to that is sometimes it just it just happens it is taking profit you don't really see that it happens but there was one comment from christopher waller from fed saying that they were expecting a bit more interest rate hikes so it's a hawkish comment i that saw also, that yeah it's, it's the same soup um, uh, traders taking profit and they having a, a hawkish comment and all of a sudden things fold yeah and it's really interesting because i, I think there's a lot of it's a lot of Game of Thrones stuff when it comes to the Federal Reserve, as always. I think that there's uh, an argument. There, there's the bull case, the bear case, of, co of course, as always. One thing that I would say for the bear case on the dollar is that the Federal Reserve sort of has to err on the side of caution. Uh, they sort of, in my opinion, they have to sort of say, uh, you know, we're not quite where we need to be. We need to keep raising rates. And they're going to say that until the numbers prove out. And then they'll quickly pivot and say, actually, we're going to uh, now look to cut rates. So uh, that's my opinion. What do you think on that? Do you think that they're they're uh, sort of touting, you know, flexing the muscle to show that they're going to keep raising rates? Or do you think they really mean that they are planning to raise more rates than expected? What do you think? Did you know that you can get 40% off the Edge Finder right now? Our advanced market scanning software, the Edge Finder, was first released one year ago in April. So to celebrate, we're doing an anniversary sale. Over the past 12 months, we've helped traders all over the world sharpen their skills and find better trades using the market scanner. This is the best time ever to get the Edge Finder for yourself at this massive 40% discount. Day Trader, Edge Finder. Swing Trader, Edge Finder fundamental or a technical trader, it all comes together in the edge finder. So don't wait because this sale won't last forever. Be sure to take advantage of this 40% off discount at checkout when you use promo code A1YT. Happy trading everyone. Uh, it's kind of like, yeah. Yeah, as when with the with the last one where they're like, oh, it's transitionary, it's transitionary. Oh no, yeah. it's no longer. Oh crap, kind of a thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, that is definitely so. They want to be data dependent, right? So that's kind of that leads to that kind of reaction. But right. I feel like this time they're way more sensitive to CPI coming down because they have um, they have lowered their expectations going forward. As we had a banking crisis back then, so right. yeah, um, they are a bit better adaptive this time, I would say. But still, yeah, they are very late, and we are like, didn't you see it earlier? Yeah, right. And, and I think uh, it's those comments can be sort of like a uh, a jolt to markets. But in my personal opinion, until we see uh, 
something in the numbers, I'm still thinking that, you know, inflation is on the come down. Things are looking like the Federal Reserve in some ways is getting its job done. And at some point that means pausing, if not even potentially talking about rate cuts at some point in uh, perhaps towards the end of the year or going into next year. But we'll see how that goes. That's why I've been personally uh, a little bit more bearish on the dollar recently. And uh, we'll see if that persists. So uh, what else are you looking at here today? Are you on gold? What are your what are your thoughts? No, I just I, I just put up gold because people were mentioning it, and I was mentioning it. But I'm um, I'm shorting New Zealand dollar with 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 the, with the, all the assets I have, kind of a thing. Uh, not literally. So you're short but I just wanted... uh, Kiwi dollars that we said. Yeah, Kiwi dollar. So okay. New Zealand, Euro New Zealand. I'm buying. That's where the buy came from. Um, post that in your Discord. Um, sorry, in Discord. Sorry. Uh, I was too reluctant to sell New Zealand dollar, but. Um, yeah. ah! Okay. Uh, Wait, so, so NZB USD specifically, what made you choose the Kiwi against the dollar? Is there something that you especially saw in the, the Kiwi or is it um, more of a dollar trade? What do you think? It's 100% Kiwi and it's 100% sell and it's 100% happening from now until 17th of May, give or take. Okay. Is, so, so it's a seasonal seasonal thing? Yeah. Very sure. Gotcha. gotcha. Um, yeah. Very cool. You've also got um, the Kiwi Yen pulled up. What's the, yeah. what's the thought here? Well, it's still Kiwi. So I'm a bit reluctant about dollar and reluctant about Yen. That's why I pulled them up because I'm reluctant about it. But if you take New Zealand ca uh, Canadian dollar, for example, mm. um, I'm just waiting for some kind of pullback. Uh, and uh, Australian New Zealand, uh, perfectly bullish. So. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find some trades somewhere, but you know, it doesn't come back. So I'm like FOMOing and trying to do something else in the meantime. Sure. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's waiting for trades is a, is a dangerous spot when it comes to trading. Cause it's so easy to, to be like, okay, I'm ready for a trade and nothing's setting up and I want to be in one. So I totally can relate to that. I'm sure many of the audience members as well can relate to that. Um, Ivan, I'm going to let you uh, let you go do your thing, go through your charts. Before I step out of the stream here, guys, I do want to say, if you guys don't already follow Ivan, he has his own YouTube channel, and he's also one of our uh, Discord uh, moderators and coaches within our group. He's been with us for a while doing coaching webinars and all sorts of things. And he also does offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, which I would definitely encourage you if you're looking for something like that, to hit him up on Discord. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe to Ivan. His channel is linked in the the uh, chat there. And Ivan, enjoy the stream. Thanks for coming on, man. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Don't forget to check out the links in the description if you want our broker recommendation, access to our free Discord, free Edge Finder, or want to chat with us on Telegram. Remember, you can watch us live in the markets every morning starting at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and we have lots more free trading tools and content available on our website, a1trading.com. Thanks for watching.